Hello and welcome to another Cobot Forever video. This is going to be a departure from my regular videos, as will one other video that is coming up very soon. And I want to talk about some hardware. A single board computer known as the Atomic Pi, which is able to run not only Windows, but more importantly, Diablo 2 and Cobot. So that is why I want to show this one off, because this is a very small, neat piece of tech that can not only save you a lot of electricity, but not produce a lot of heat, and potentially save you some ROM downs. So before we get into that, I want to just go over what we have in front of us and what you're going to need to install Windows and to configure the Atomic Pi so that it works for you. Obviously, the first thing we need is the Atomic Pi. In the link in the description below, I will leave eBay and Amazon. So while editing, I noticed that I forgot to mention that you do need the Baby Breakout Board, which is this board right here. If you buy the combo pack, it'll just be a lot easier on you instead of buying all these things in pieces. And it does come with it if you buy the combo from eBay. Again, link in the description. And it plugs into a little port down here on the bottom. So all you have to do is just buy the breakout board, plug it in. And then when you get the power cord, which also comes with the combo, you plug it into there. And then it provides power to the Atomic Pi. Forgot to mention that in the original cut, so let's go back and watch the rest. For the board itself, as well as the combo, which comes with the Atomic Pi, the power cord, and the camera, which you don't need. Comes with it if you want it, cool. If not, it's not really necessary for this video. You will also need a four port USB adapter. I would recommend 16 gigabyte, probably 32 gigabyte USB flash drive. I highly recommend that you get a USB 3.0 flash drive if you can get it as the Atomic Pi does have a 3.0 USB port. You'll need a keyboard and mouse. You do not need the one I'm about to show you. Any keyboard and mouse will work just fine. I prefer using this little guy here because it's a lot easier for me. It includes a touchpad so that I can use it as a mouse and a keyboard so that I can type in whatever I need to type in. So optional, but I highly recommend it. It's like 10 or $15 on Amazon. It's not terribly expensive, and you can definitely get some use out of it. Not just for this, but perhaps other things as well. And last but not least, the power cord. Again, link in the description for that one. You can, I, I recommend that you get the combo that comes with the board and the power supply, more so than just buying the board, because it's just gonna be a lot easier on you to do that way. I do have a case on the Atomic Pi, and no, it does not come with the black case that you see around it here. This is not included, this is separate. I would tell you how much and where to get that one, but I just can't recommend it. It's kind of poorly made. It is 3D printed, so I guess I shouldn't really bash it too much. But not only did it not fit very well, I had to do quite a bit of sanding to get it to fit in and fit to where the SD card would actually work. And last but not least, I do have an SD card in there. Those should not cost you more than about $10. You don't need bigger than a 32 gigabyte for that either. Probably 16 would do you for that one. So get a high-speed one, don't get the cheap, cheap ones. If you already have one that's a class 10, use that. If you don't have a class 10, I would highly recommend you get a class 10 because it's gonna be very slow if you don't. And I know that it works with a class 10. I don't know that it works without a class 10. And I store Diablo 2 and my Cobot files on the SD card so that I only have to have the SD card plugged in and the power cord plugged in, and then I just leave everything else off of it and log in through TeamViewer to actually use the Atomic Pi itself. So I think that's where I want to leave video number one, or part one, I guess we'll go with, is just kind of the overview of what this thing is and what it is that we're going to do in the next part or two. I haven't decided how many we're going to have in total. I am going to show you how to install Windows on the Atomic Pi. I am going to show you how to disable Windows Update and how to make sure you get the proper dependencies to make sure that it works correctly. Last, before I let you go from this part, I want to say that I have got successfully gotten to work four Cobot bots at one time without lag or any issues, so long as you go with the caveats that I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to leave it here, and we're going to move to the second part where I show you how to install Windows onto the Atomic Pi, and of course how to put Cobot and Diablo 2 and all those things on there as well. So stay tuned. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up to let me know. If you have not subscribed and you're new here, please do so, and we'll see you in the next part.